Yang Suzano. Should be a fun one. How do you go from being a fighting game amateur to being decent enough to not get fully destroyed by veterans, but not necessarily be on par with vets? Interesting question. So when it comes to getting better at fighting games, I know I've answered this in different parts, and people have asked that question in, you know, in different forms. But to be able to be good at other fighting games, you see people do it all the time, you know. You see people like Justin Wong, you see content creators, at least some of the content creators when they dabble on it, to be pretty decent at every fighting game that they touch. And I'll tell you why. The reason why is because we... I, I'm speaking in behalf of, like, content creators and stuff. Once you get to a point, once you uh, play enough fighting games, you start to see that fighting games are very similar in terms of mentality and how to how to learn them. Because people use the same formula to learn fighting games every time they learn fighting games. So, like, people... Like, a Street Fighter V player uh, will be able to learn, like, Undernight... Uh, if they use the same formula that they've been using to learn Street Fighter, which is, of course, watch matches, play the tutorial, spend some time in the lab, learn your character, learn... Oh my gosh, the Batista Super is so weird to DP, especially with, with uh, Yuzu DP. But anyways, the formula is there throughout almost every fighting game. But uh, at the end of the day, it's all about... That's a fuzzy? Holy crap! You see that fuzzy? That was sick! Okay, I'm getting distracted. So, for the most part... When it comes to learning it, it comes down to just experience and playing a lot of fighting games and being able to learn from those fighting games as well. Because whenever you play a new one, you start to take a piece out of that experience and you incorporate that into other fighting games that you that you play. So when I was playing Street Fighter V, I learned how, what cross-ups are. I learned what invincible reversals were. And I learned specific mechanics like uh, uh, FADCs, focus, uh, fo focus, the dash, focus, attack, dash cancels. Uh, I learned all that, and then when I went over to Blaze Blue, I started incorporating the same mentality, which was okay. There's reversals. There is things that are similar to focus, a dash, focus, attack, dash cancels. By God, which are like rapid cancels or Roman cancels in Guilty Gear. You start to see a whole bunch of mechanics that are similar, but not exactly the same. So when you start to take all that into consideration, and then you start to see other players utilize these mechanics and utilizing these characters, and then start to incorporate your own style to them. That's only to get subpar. If you really want to learn a fighting game, you want to know the, the deep mechanics behind it, then you're going to have to spend some time with the game. But uh, when I, whenever I play a game, I know what to do whenever I pick up that game. I want to fi find a character. Find a couple combos. Find a setup. Find some Oki uh, within that uh, combo as well. Find a, a super combo, like a, a finishing combo that will finish the, the, the round and such. Uh, what do I do in this specific situation where I'm playing defense? Well, I usually learn defense myself when I'm in a match. That's how I learn defense, which is not the greatest thing, but it's good to learn defense in a match and take that experience into the lab and grind it out to see if you can do better next time you're in, in a similar situation. A lot of people can can do this formula. You know, they can play multiple games and be subpar and learn a little bit from that experience of that fighting game. But some people can't. They just can't grasp um, other fighting games other than the one that they play. And I understand that. Most Smash players are like that. I'm somebody that, that plays Smash, Tekken, uh, Street Fighter and anime fighting games. I know how to play all four and I've taken something out of every single game and I utilize every single thing in my process of learning that fighting game. So I'm just saying that it's definitely possible for somebody to learn multiple fighting games being subpar at them but not be fantastic at them. If you're worried about combos and execution and fast-paced matches and being able to make the right decision every time you're in a fast pace you're in a uh, uh, a situation where you can't really process everything here's the thing with that as well whenever you're you're never going to make the right decision every single time you're not a machine you're a human being and the thing that determines your it's, it's kind of like a muscle the more you exercise that muscle the more proficient and more consistent you're going to be at it it's the same thing with being able to adapt in a match 
in a, with a combo or with a, a decision that you make. It all comes with time. And the more that you experience that those situations and the more you exercise those situations, you're going to be getting better at them. People are trying to say is that, will I be able to perform these combos when you're brand new to fighting games? Eventually you will, not right away, unless you're some sort of prodigy, which I'm not even gonna go into that. So eventually you will be able to learn, but you have to put in the work, you have to put in the time, because this is not a specific type of genre where you can go into it and just do well. You can't. Too many people have invested so much time into these fighting games to be able to do what you want to do uh, consistently. And nobody's going to come in with no experience in fighting games and just do what they can do in a couple of seconds. And even, even with all the practice that they do, they still mess up. Professional players mess up all the time. It happens. Do you guys remember that $250,000 combo drop that Phenom did? About two years ago, I think it was two years ago, Phenom versus Punk at the eSports, uh, I think it was like an eSports Invitational, ESL Invitational. Phenom versus Punk, Karen versus Nikali in Street Fighter V. He had the combo, Phenom had the combo, and he drops it. Easiest combo ever, and he drops it. All he needed was to finish it, and he had $250,000 in his pocket. And then Punk comes back and kills him. And he takes that 250000 like that, like a, like, like a, like taking a candy from a baby on Halloween. It's crazy to think about, like, it's, it's crazy to think about that, right? Nobody's perfect. Even when you practice it day in and day out, you're going to have situations where you're going to have an off day or things are just not going to go your way. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, as a beginner player, the more you play and the more you practice, the more likely you're going to get better at doing combos, at going, uh, at making decisions in specific sequences, how to do setups, how to save your character, how to play defense, everything there. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, but you can do it. At first, it's going to be a lot to take in. Trust me, I know. But eventually, like I said, it's just like working out a muscle. You're not your muscles not used to being worked out that that part of your body is not being is not used um, uh, Has not been used to that capacity before But the more you get into that situation the more you learn from the situation That's the important part learning from it because there's one thing to experience it and just be like oh and make up an excuse to say Oh my controller lagged. Oh my I, I didn't get enough sleep even though that is a thing Oh, am I uh, some this? Oh, that. If you actually learn from the situation, you look back at it, and you know what you did wrong, and you know what to do next time you're in the similar situation, that's the important part of it. Pretty cool. That's why fighting games are fun. That's why they're fun, man. That's why I love them. There's so much to it. There's a lot to it, but take it easy. Take it easy. Just go at your own pace. Learn at your own at your own wavelength. And uh, at the end of the day, when you get that combo and you get that win, it's gonna feel really good. It's gonna feel really good.